Back in 2015, while I was living in rural India, going to boarding school, I had the amazing chance to go hiking uh, in the Himalayas. And I remember documenting most of this experience, but, well, I somehow lost the footage for a few years. But last week I found it again, I wanted to share a little bit of this experience. The Himalayas has now become one of my favorite places in the planet, so here it is! We left our school in what would be a long journey north. We drove a few hours to Mumbai, flew to Delhi, and made our way through the city to find our bus to Dehradun. Having barely slept, we took yet another bus to the small town of Uttarkashi, and then a short jeep ride until the end of the road. Luck didn't seem to accompany us, and it rained as we propped up our tents for the first time. The next couple of days were entirely uphill, initially crossing mountain villages and croplands, which slowly turned into forests. By the time we made it to our second campsite, it had already been four days since our last shower, so the glacier-cold river provided with a freezing bath. Dodidol is a sacred site in Hindu mythology. It is in this very lake that Ganesha, the elephant-headed god, was born, and there is a local temple protecting the lake. We're sleeping in this tent over here and it's freezing. <laughs> There's something amazing about standing next to some of the highest mountains of the planet. It just truly puts into perspective how small we are in a much larger world. Here, you forget about the outer world and focus on the now. It's the fourth morning and it was so cold that even my shoelaces froze. No, no, no. That peak over there is 6,316 meters and behind the mountains at about 4 kilometers is the Chinese border and today we'll be climbing 4,200 over there before going to the other side of the mountain all the way to our camp. Every step is just exhausting. The final ascent was demanding. Fatigue and lack of oxygen were weighing on you, but adrenaline just keeps you in awe.
before the day and we've been walking on the snow for the whole day and with the altitude it's just exhausting to move. socks are burnt <laughs> and so are my shoes <laughs> It will be soon five years since we finished the trek, and while the blisters have healed and the memories have started to fade, one lesson persists. We spent five days trekking and an additional four getting to or from the site, all to be in the summit of the pass for about 15 minutes, which were not even the most memorable of the trip. In a way, life is a bit similar. We spend years focused entirely on a goal ahead, rather than enjoy the beauty that surrounds us now, only to be able to see it in retrospect. And to close off, here's me being kicked by a friend. Me patraste el brazo. Estás. Quería ser tu tío. Pensaba que estabas fuera.